Have you ever counted up how many times you turn your smartphone on every day? I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now, and wouldn't it be convenient if you could just swipe to unlock? This is my Nexus 4. It is rooted. I am running a custom ROM. For you to do this, you do need to be rooted and you need to flash a custom kernel. We'll get to that in just a minute. Once you do that, you can see I can just sweep to unlock. I did that twice because I've kind of set my sweeping threshold down a little bit. The way I'm doing that is through this FO123 kernel. And this is an app. It costs about $5 in the uh, in the play store you don't have to have this you can just flash the rom and get or flash the kernel rather and get a lot of the same features but by doing this you can come over here all the way to the end and uh, download the latest version very very quickly and easily then you just flash it like you would anything else from here you've got all of these controls we'll just buzz through a few of these so you can see kind of what they do and how i've got it set up of course one of the main reasons for installing a custom kernel is to overclock, underclock, and whatnot. So I've gone ahead and turned that on. We'll bump that up and we'll bump that up just for the purpose of this video. Uh, eco mode, I've turned on. We'll turn that off for the time being. MP decision, we don't like that because it's Qualcomm and it's proprietary. So we'll just turn that off and use IntelliPlug active status instead. Go ahead and sweep over here. We can change the voltages. I usually leave these alone just because that's something really deep and geeky. Governor, we can set this I like on demand. So we've got that set right there, set on boot. SOC, all of these different things that you can do and stats that you can get. Thermal information. Thermald is Qualcomm's. Intellithermal is the kernel version and you can kind of see what's going on here. I haven't had any thermal throttling or thermal over temps yet, which is a good thing. Uh, GPU, you can set the graphics processor stuff, IO scheduler, and then this is what we're after. So this is called sweep to wake or slide to wake, however you want to call it. They call it sweep to wake probably because they don't want to get in trouble with the, uh, the swipe or the slide to wake version, uh, which may or may not be patented or trademarked or whatever. So set on boot, I've got that turned on. The uh, sweep to wake function, I've also got that turned on. You can set how you want it to go if you want it horizontally, vertically, or some other custom direction. I like horizontal. Your start position, mid position, end position threshold, and then you apply parameters. One thing that you want to do is make sure that you're okay with the possible battery drain that this is going to give to you. Just uh, keep that in mind. While we're in here, let's finish the tabs out. Vibration, you can set your uh, vibration thresholds and whatnot. I like 74, 75%. It seems to be what most custom ROMs are doing these days with the Nexus 4. Screen, you can set what screen you want. If you want to go back to LG stock, you can do that. You turn the screen off, turn it back on, and it applies that. Not quite as vivid, not quite as true to uh, you know the nice pretty colors that I enjoy. So we'll just turn it back off and back on, and there you can see that. Z control for your ZRAM and whatnot. Miscellaneous settings. And then, of course, download that we already showed you and information all about the app. So how does it work now? Very simply, you have your device in the off position. You come through here. And if I can remember where I set my, my parameter to, all you have to do is swipe to unlock just like that. It is going to take you a little bit more battery to do that because you've got to monitor the, uh, the touch screen on your screen, even when the device is off. And as you can see, sometimes you can set your threshold a little bit too tightly and have it, uh, have it not want to wake exactly right. But after you've played with it for a little bit, you know exactly where to go to, to wake it up. And it's really quite a nice feature. Accomplishing this does take a custom kernel. That's either something that you can buy in your brand new device like the Moto X or something that you can flash on compatible devices like I did with my Nexus 4. But now, here's the question for you. Is swiping to unlock really that much more simple than just pushing the button to unlock? We want to know what you think, so head down to the comments below and let us know your thoughts. I, for one, think that anything that you can do to make using your device a little bit easier and, well, a little bit cooler is well worth it. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw here, please give the video a thumbs up and why not subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also, while you're at it, share the video with your friends. Let them know what Pocket Now is all about. For Pocket Now, 
I'm Joe Levi. We'll catch you next time.